What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be looking at the sump area, specifically the Marine Pure Spheres. I have built a little, a uh, couple DIY trays, and I'm going to be taking out the old blocks permanently, keeping just the spheres in, and um, we'll see how it works. All right, so here's my little DIY trays that I made. Um, it's just your typical black egg crate. I did zip tie a bunch of sections and then um, used the super glue gel on a lot of the areas to make it very strong, sturdy. Um, so they are gonna be sitting in my sump just like this. And I'm gonna fill the marine pure spheres here. And you can see that there is gonna be a little bit of a gap underneath for some water flow. And if the tritus falls through here, that's my goal, is I want the detritus to come off the spheres and just sit at the bottom of the sump. And then when I do my maintenance, what I can do is I can just take one, lift it up, let it sit on top of the other one. Now the whole front section of my sump is going to be open and I can just stick a hose in there, suck out all the detritus, put it under there, suck it all out, and then simply put it back down. So. Let's go upstairs and make the switch. So that was easy, it took about three and a half minutes. You can see pretty much most of the debris has settled. There's still a lot of stuff floating around. Now, when I was doing that, there was all kinds of detritus and just stuff flying everywhere. But luckily, look at the pinky pad. The pinky pad has completely kept everything from going into the system, look. Still spotless. There's not a ton of debris and detritus. That stuff would have just gone everywhere. And that is why I used the pinky pad. But, um, so all the marine per spheres are in. I did decide to keep, last minute, I kept these three blocks in here. Um, I know a couple guys that are starting new tanks and these would be perfect to start their cycle immediately. So I figured, you know, let me save it um, because there are still some diatoms, you know, with since I've added the new sand into the tank. So I didn't want to take out too much beneficial bacteria, but that's it. Quick and easy tray, and like I said, now when I want to do maintenance down here, all I have to do is just lift one tray up, stack it, put a hose in there, clean out the bottom. So we'll see how this goes for a while. Um, I know it's it's not a big deal to have the marine pure spheres or any type of um, biological filtration at the bottom of the sump, but I just figure, you know what, you know the sump will just stay that much cleaner or be a little bit easier to clean when I go to maintain it. So that's it. That's my uh, latest DIY project, and I'll talk to you guys later.